Coming up in today's video, Harry and I go for a run, I ask him a strange question and some horses jump big fences. Welcome back to another video. We're here today with international show jumper Harry Charles. First off, I just want to say a huge thank you for having your team here today to film your yard tour. Thank you very much. Lovely to be here. Sorry about the weather. No uh, worries at all. It has been, it it's chucking it yeah. down with rain. I feel like this always happens when I write film at professional riders' yards. It's like the worst weather possible. But anyway, Harry, you have had a really successful year that we'll talk a little bit more about later. But we're all getting ready for the London International Horse Show that's coming up very soon. And oh my goodness, Last year, you really knocked it out of the park, you know, winning the Grand Prix and the World Cup qualifiers as well. Do you reckon you can do it again this year? I mean, sometimes I can't even like believe last year happened. Still. Yeah. Like people remind me of it all throughout the year, and uh, I mean, yeah, it'd be quite impossible maybe to repeat that. But we'll give it a good go. Some oh, good best horses. of luck! And it's such an incredible show. You know, I've been every year since I think I was about ten, and I remember seeing you on ponies yeah. as well. I was first there in 2010, one two eight. Um, and we've gone, you know, 11 years in a row, I think, jumping there. So it's pretty crazy and uh, can't wait to be back again one more time. It sure is well. So how about we have a little walk around the stables and meet some yep, of the horses? let's do it. So welcome to Heathcroft Farm. Thanks this for having is, uh, me again. This is home, as we call it. We have about, stabling for about 30 horses. We actually have 22 on the road right now. Oh, wow. So it is looking a little bit empty. I thought I'd show you some of our, you know, exciting younger horses. This is a... Uh, Special. Come in, bud. He's a newer horse to me. He's yeah. been competing throughout the year and he is owned by the same owner as Romeo 88, which is my uh, Olympic and World Championship horse. So. Oh, wow. He's, Hello. He's really nice Hello. and really exciting. Obviously, when you get a new horse, you've got to spend some time to get to know him. Talented as well, so um, it'll be really exciting, I think, seeing his progress next year and, and the year after with the uh, Europeans and the Olympic Games coming up. Oh, so definitely one for the future then. We think so. And um, you'll get to see him jump a little bit later. Oh, we're gonna, exciting. We're going to see how he's been getting on. That'll be but, really um, cool. He's good fun. His name's Will <laughs> as well. Uh, I'm Special is his show name. So <laughs> if you want to look out for him. This is Sherlock. He's uh, nine years old, and I hope he's you know one of my prospects for the Olympics in Paris 24. And, oh wow! Um, yeah, he's really exciting. We've had him since five years old, so <laughs> he was kind of a blank canvas when he came. So it's been so cool to be able to do everything with him. You know, right from his first ever show, Aww. all the way up to his first five-star show, which he did a few months ago. You must have like a really special bond with him as well. Exactly, him yeah. We've, a five we've done everything together, really. What's he's not in competition future? right now, as you can tell by his clip. Aww. So he's, <laughs> he's got his winter coat on. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we'll be building up again at the start of the year. And uh, his aim next year will be to do some five-star Grand Prix, which is pretty cool. You know, having taken him from the five-year-old classes yeah. to a five-star Grand Prix. Oh, definitely one to watch. Yeah, <laughs> he is a uh, favourite as well in the yard. Yeah, all guys <laughs> I can tell he's so affectionate. Yeah. <laughs> he's so wet for all this. Licking, hey? <laughs> he's perfect little fella. like my Mickey. <laughs> Brand new seven-year-old uh, bandit. Oh, Dunro bandit. quality is his show name. So uh, he's quite a lively horse, sharp horse. And so for him, and we got Basato normally is his neighbour who yeah. won the London Grand Prix last year. Oh, cool. Uh, we like to keep them out in these straw pens. Like on so, a day like today, like yeah. he would try and be in the field, but obviously the ground gets yeah, absolutely Yeah, so important shot. for horses to yeah, yeah. have time being horses. So it's so lovely that you have this. Yeah, so they enjoy <laughs> it out here. and it, He's come to say hi to the camera. <laughs> it takes the edge off them as well, you know, yeah. when if you have a sharp horse, I, I'd seriously recommend trying to find, give them that bit more space yeah. in the living. There's also a lot going on outside normally, yeah, um, so they can watch and keep entertained, yeah. which is, uh, important for a horse like him. So, also a very exciting horse. Hopefully he will uh, do some great things. Eight year old next year. Yeah. So, um, we won't be expecting too big a thing next year. I do like to take it slow with these guys. And um, excited to see where he'll end up, for sure. But yeah, Definitely. great addition to the team and happy to have him. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right. Are we running? Yeah. <laughs> Day in my life. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Classic England. So in here is our tack room. Very Daily operations. Nice. Um, nothing fancy, you know, no big fancy chandeliers or anything like that, but it 
does what it's supposed to. Very cool. It's perfect for us. <laughs> we, we try to. Um, quite empty at the moment because we've yep. not got so many horses in. But we each have our own locker and this is mine. We open it up. It oh is, wow, this is like an Aladdin's cave. To be honest, it's just a bit of a mess. But it <laughs> has everything I need for my day-to-day -day stuff. A few hats and then just the rest is just memorabilia from throughout the years. Oh and wow. Look at all these rosettes as well. Yeah, these ones kind would be from I guess from the last year or so. Pretty cool memories from last year in London. First ever five star show in Arkin. That's really cool. And obviously your world championship yeah, as well exactly. The these ones summer. are pretty, these are probably standout ones, especially from this year, you know, the whole herning thing. We went, me and Joe, as the two younger guys, we have Ben and Scott. Me and Joe went in very ambitious, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure how Ben and Scott felt about, <laughs> like, how the ch our chances as a team, but we thought we had a great team. Yeah. It was the first time we'd ever all four had jumped together. We went in very much with the expectation to win a medal, and... Um, you went and did it. <laughs> yeah, some, some days we weren't quite sure if we were going to get there. You know, yeah. we had some up. A very hot, good start. The middle day was very disappointing. And then the last day was just, yeah, it was a dream come true. Yeah, it really was to be stood on that podium with that team. And hopefully, it's not the last either. I actually have a question for you. Do you know, as an avid This Says Me watcher, who was the first ever person I interviewed on my channel? <laughs> um, I, I'm going to have to guess. Can I have a clue? Yeah, they're in this room. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Back in 2018. <laughs> really? I was yeah, the first ever so. Yeah, at Liverpool, I think. Oh, amazing. So, do you remember oh, wow. something else that yeah, we did that we day? we did a signing. I remember we did yeah, a signing. Yeah, we did a and signing. We did a, some race on the yeah, space. Yeah, we did the space operation. Space, that was it. Yeah. I remember that very much. Yeah. I was the first one. Yeah, oh, I think wow. so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, 17 year old as me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. At the time. So, yeah, I think you won that space hopper race as well because I got a bit too competitive and I went and face planted oh, on it. the floor. So, Taste you can add that to your rosette wall <laughs> yeah. as well. You've got to make one for that. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe space I'll just use that race. whole wall for that one. Yeah, actually. definitely just take the massive one <laughs> yeah. to go there. Harry and I also had a little bit of a chat about the family history and also what the farm looked like before. His dad, Peter Charles, has also won team gold for Great Britain in the 2012 Olympics. So it was really cool having a look at this wall of photos and going down memory lane. So as we come in here, this is our indoor. Oh, um, cool. As you can see again, nothing too fancy, but it's a roof. Yeah. And it does it more than its job. Oh, yeah, it's definitely working today with this. Yeah, in fact, this is actually, this was Newbury Riding School. My dad, he bought it for £4,000. Oh, wow. Uh, about 20, 25 years ago. Wow. So all the beams, all the roof is, uh, it's, it's old. Still holding up pretty well. And we're lucky to have it, you know, especially on a day like this. Definitely. And the horses don't seem to mind either, you know. I don't think they really mind uh, what's on the walls or, as long as they're not getting too wet. Yeah. You can't see it, but over there we have a new outdoor, a bigger one. It's yep. probably our more competition outdoor with the grass arena as well. So it'd be nice to be out there today, but yeah. still uh, lucky we can continue to do our job without getting soaking wet. 100%. A few jumps up here. We're going to now take special out, Will, and uh, we're going to do a bit of training with him and see where he's at. I've oh. been away for a few weeks, so it'll be uh, fun to see. Yeah. <laughs> no, that'll uh, be really good to see you guys in action. Yeah. So you're all warmed up, how's he feeling? He's been pretty good. Um, obviously being between Belgium and England, it can be difficult to manage you know, horses in different places, but it's where Ben comes in. He's been a fantastic addition to our team this year. He keeps all my old guys, as well as his own, and the younger stock going while I'm away. So it's nice to you know, come back home, and uh, he's pretty much where I left him. So how, how's he been, Ben, at home yeah, for he's you been really the last good. few weeks? Keeping him going on the flat and uh, keeping him in shape and fit. And he feels really nice. So should we put some fences up for you then? Yeah, we should. We get to know him a bit. <laughs> it's his first time in the indoor and it's definitely his first time with the cameras. So. Oh, lots of first things yeah, then. He, get, he needs to get used to it anyway and oh. he's taking it all pretty well. Harry, it's 
typical. The sun has come out right at the end of filming, but it's been lovely to see your outdoor arena as well. Yeah, typical, isn't it? But uh, <laughs> that's how it goes. But yeah, this is uh, outdoor, about two or three years old, so kind of new, and it's been a great place, you know, to build a bit of a bigger space to train at those higher tempos and like replicate what we'd get in a proper show arena. We have a uh, small outdoor there for so many years, but you couldn't really get the pace or canter up yeah. that you needed to train, I guess, at the higher speeds, so. No, this is a lovely big space yeah, as well. I think next time I'm gonna see you is probably at the London International Horse Show, so. Yeah, I think so, not so long to go now, so. Yeah, and I'm actually there on the Saturday, Sunday, and the Monday, and all of my meetups are at 5 p.m., so I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much again, Harry, for thanks very for kindly having me for thanks filming, for and thanks to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe, it really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.